Yo, what's good Homeslay? So after my getting top 1% in every drift zone video, I've gotten a bunch of requests to do a tutorial video on how to drift in Forza Horizon 5. Uh, and also a drifting tutorial was on my list of video ideas anyways, uh, so today that's what we're doing. Now this video is going to be for complete beginners, uh, we're going to go over all the basics, but I'm sure that some of these tips and tricks uh, will be helpful for someone of any skill level at drifting, uh, no matter how good you are. Uh, but if you want to be in an upcoming Forza Horizon 5 fails and wins video, uh, please send your clips to the Discord server. There'll be an invite link in the video description, uh, and if you send a clip in, it will almost guarantee to be in the video, because uh, I still need a lot more clips to finish that video. Uh, we also hold car meets every few weeks that also get turned into YouTube videos, uh, so definitely go join the Discord server. Uh, and also please consider subscribing if you're a fan of Forza, as I post weekly Forza Horizon 5 videos every Friday. Uh, during the summer, I'll post Mondays as well, so twice a week. Uh, and also please leave a like and comment so that YouTube recommends this video to more people. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Let's learn how to drift. Alright, so first things first, you want to get yourself a drift car. So what you're going to do is you're going to buy yourself a Sylvia Spec R from 2000. Uh, the S15 Sylvia. Alright, so once you've bought your Sylvia uh, and you're inside of it, go ahead and go to Upgrades and Tuning, Fine Tuning Setups, uh, and you're going to search this. Uh, if you want a beginner drift build, you're going to go for this one right here. Uh, share code, you're going to search the share code, 695-156-256. Uh, that's a beginner drift build. Uh, it has an RB swap in it, so it's about 800 horsepower, so it's not crazy high horsepower for Forza standards. Uh, but it's a very good beginner friendly drift build. Uh, and if you're more advanced, same car, you're gonna go for this one. Here codes 144195681. This is a 2JZ swap um, S15. So it's got a little bit more horsepower uh, for those advanced drifters that want some more power. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I guess I'll use the beginner drift build. Alright, next you gotta change your settings. What you need is your steering can be on whatever, your traction control has to be off, your stability control has to be off, and your shifting has to be either on manual or manual with clutch. I prefer manual with clutch, but it is a little bit more advanced. Uh, if you're a beginner, you can you can easily get away with just uh, being in manual mode, but not automatic. All right, yeah, anti-lock brakes don't matter. Nothing else really matters. Uh, so just make sure your traction control's off, your stability control's off, and your shifting's on either manual or manual with clutch. Once you got that, you can save it. Uh, and a good place to learn and start drifting is right here, these two little turns right before the mountain. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over there. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, if you've been playing on automatic, you're gonna need to bind, um, what's it called? You're gonna need to bind your shift up and shift down button. Here are my uh, controller settings, my e-brakes A, I'm on an Xbox controller by the way, uh, e-brake is A, shift up right bumper, shift down left bumper, uh, my clutch is B, uh, everything else I think is the same. Uh, yeah, just make sure you have uh, shift down and shift up bind it obviously, and your e-brake, and your clutch uh, if you're using a clutch. Oh uh, yeah, now that you've got that all squared away, let's start drifting. I forgot to mention, feel completely free to leave a comment uh, if anything confuses you or if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I'll respond to as many comments as I can, which will be like 99% of them. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment uh, if you're confused at any point or just want some clarification or anything. Just let me know. I'll respond. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is drift entries. Uh, now there's three different ways you can enter a drift uh, or an oversteer. First way, go to fourth gear. You just floor it, turn yourself all the way to the right. That's called the power oversteer. That's where you just floor it and the power well, oversteers your car. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, very basic, very beginner method. Uh, but the method that I recommend and I use for the most part um, is a handbrake entry. All right, so you're going at your corner. What you can do is turn all the way to the side you want to go and hold your handbrake that'll launch your car to the side. It'll oversteer you a lot quicker than, um, what's it called, than power oversteer will. The handbrake locks up the rear wheels and it rotates your car a lot faster. Uh, so it's, it's my preferred method of entering a corner, but to each their own, you could do whatever. Um, and the last way we're gonna talk about is clutch kicking. That's when you hold down the clutch, you floor the gas, turn the car to the side, let go of the clutch. I look, you messed up there. 
I was doing it slow to uh <laughs> to show you guys and I spun out. Yeah, basically for a clutch a uh, clutch kick entry is you hold the clutch in, you floor the gas, um, you turn into the corner, let go of the clutch, and your wheels will spin super fast when you let go of the clutch. Um, and that'll that'll oversteer you. So those are the three basic ways of uh, entering a corner, but I recommend definitely the handbrake turn. Uh, so yeah, what you can do to practice this one, just go up to a corner, hold your handbrake till your car oversteers, and just keep doing that. You don't even have to gas it to start. Just like that. Till your car oversteers. So just keep repeating that till your car oversteers. There you go. You don't want to hold it too long, because if you hold it too long, you'll just spin out. Uh, but if you don't hold it long enough, you're not going to get any angle. So you got to find a balance. Oh, and I also forgot to know, I did a, uh, a drift car meet with viewers not that long ago, and a very, very, very common mistake was... Uh, not being able to judge how fast you should go into a corner. Uh, you don't need to go fast at all. Look, like I'm going like 30. No, you could just start it right there. Get a nice beautiful line. You don't need to go fast at all. To get a nice line. You want your hand, after your handbrake, you want that rear of your car to go right on the edge of the road. You wanna pull your handbrake. And right there, you want the end of your car to go right at the edge of the road. That's a, that's a perfect handbrake entry. Perfect drift entry. And it sets you up for a nice line. Alright, on to the next thing. Which is actually keeping the angle and drifting throughout the corner. It's basically how to go from holding your handbrake uh, to keeping your oversteer, not spinning out, and not losing your angle. All right, now there's two things you need to worry about uh, after you enter your corner, which is counter steering and throttle control. Now counter steering, uh, if you look at my controller overlay, that's why I'm pushing left on the stick. My car doesn't spin out. Once I'm in the corner, pushing right on the stick because it's a left corner. So you're counter steering, you go the opposite way um, that your car is turning. Uh, now, if I don't counter steer after entering a corner, I just give it gas, you're just going to spin out. Give yourself a nice 360, but uh, you're not very controlled. What you want to do after you enter a corner, you want to turn into the corner. So if you're going left, turn right. If you're turning right, turn left. I worded that horribly, but if, if you're taking a right hand corner like this, after you enter, hold your stick to the left. If you're taking a left hand corner, after you enter, hold your stick to the right, or steer right, rather. We're entering a corner, we're going to counter steer. Just like that. Uh, now how I like to counter steer on controller is I just kind of tap the stick to the side, because you don't need to hold it there the whole time. If you hold it there the whole time, you're just going to obviously go the other way. Uh, so what I like to do when I'm in a corner, is I like to tap it. Just like that. I tap it to the side. Uh, I find that a lot easier than like, trying to just hold the stick like halfway between center and all the way to the side. I find that a little bit challenging. So I just tap it throughout the corner. Whenever I need to. All right, and that's basic counter steering. All right, so easily just as important um, as your counter steering is your throttle control. Uh, you're not gonna floor it the whole time. I'll say it again, don't floor it the whole time. That's a very common uh, beginner mistake, is flooring it the whole time. Now there are some pretty rare instances where you, where you do wanna floor it the whole time, uh, but most of the time you don't wanna floor it the whole time. Uh, very common beginner mistake. Also, um, the reason why a lot of beginners spin out all the time uh, is because you're gassing it the whole time. Obviously, if you give it more gas, the more your car is going to rotate. 
Notice how I'm not holding the gas all the way, kind of letting off. Oh, it's way easier to control your your angle like that. So to get the perfect drift, you gotta find a balance. A balance between uh, how long to hold your handbrake. I held it too long there, obviously. Um, how long to hold your handbrake, how much to counter steer, uh, and how much throttle to give it. Um, it's just a practice makes perfect type thing. Um, yeah, so just keep practicing. And eventually you'll be able to hold your lines like this, right up on the edge. With a mix of throttle control, counter steering, um, and a well-timed handbrake. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the, oh wow, that's the, uh, the basics of uh, your mid-corner, what to do mid-corner while you're drifting. Alright, so I'm entering the corner, I'm approaching the corner, not very fast. Pull my handbrake till the rear of my car reaches the edge of the road. One more time till I reach the edge of the road. Then I'm giving it some gas using the throttle uh, and also using my counter steering uh, to control how much angle I have mid corner. Again, notice how I'm not holding the gas the whole time there. Oh, went a little bit overboard there. A little bit too far. Held my handbrake a little bit too long. Alright, so the final section we're going to go over is exiting the corner uh, and linking another corner. It's basically what to do after your counter steering uh, and your throttle control. What to do right here. Alright, so I'm in my corner. Towards the end of the corner, I'm going to let go of the gas, counter steer, and there you go. The car straightens out uh, and you can keep driving. Uh, so that's the pretty much the basics of exiting a corner. Uh, if you don't want to link anything, just let go of the gas, counter steer even more, uh, and your car should even out. Alright, so all together, the basics of drifting a single corner, you lead up to it not too fast, and brake to the edge of your car, or the back of your car, which is the edge of the road. Do it again, and once you're there, you use throttle control, as well as some counter steering, uh, to keep your car in angle, to keep your car in a drift. Uh, and then when you want to exit the corner, you want to let go of the gas and counter steer even more. Uh, give it more counter steering, less gas, uh, and your car should straighten out. Uh, and don't worry if you don't get it your first try or if it just takes you a while to learn it. Uh, it took me a very long time to learn how to drift. I'm a fairly slow learner. Uh, but you'll get there eventually, just keep practicing. Uh, don't give up, don't... Don't get discouraged. Uh, I believe in you. You can do it. Ask me any questions in the comments uh, if you're confused or if you don't know what to do at a certain point. So yeah, handbrake to the back of your car reaches the edge. Throttle control. Counter steering. Exit the corner. Let go of the gas. Give it some more counter steering. Uh, yeah, that's the basic single corner. Now, if you want to link corners... Alright, so how to link a corner. You, your exit is going to be a little bit different. I think these corners are a little bit better at showing it. You want to keep counter steering um, when your car straightens out. So I like where the gas, I counter steer. So right there, I would have exited the drift. Or I did exit the drift. Now what you want to do, if you want to link a corner, when your car straightens out, you want to keep turning in that direction, give it some gas, and you should enter the corner again. You could also um, add your handbrake again. Feel free to do the same thing um, and hold your handbrake until the, the back of your car reaches the edge of the turn. For example, I'll, I'll do another handbrake right here. When I let go of the gas and I kind of start, I keep holding it, I handbrake until I reach the edge of the uh, road. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like I explained that pretty badly. And now, as soon as your car, oh, there's a car there. As soon as your car straightens out and it goes into the other direction, you hold your handbrake. That's when you want to hold it. So your car straightens out, you're still counter steering, and then you hold it right here. As soon as your car goes, I can't really do it slowly. As soon as your car goes from having angle, like this, when you straighten it out, you hold your handbrake there. You see how my car rotates the other direction? 
but you only hold the handbrake when your car is straight now. So look, I'm countersteering all the way to the left, holding my handbrake as soon as my car goes straight, um, and I entered into the next turn. I didn't have a, that great of a line there, I was more focused on uh, like exaggerating the, uh, the controller overlay movements. So yeah, for Lincoln Corners, I go over here. When I exit it and my car goes straight, then I hold the handbrake. Um, and again, handbrake, you handbrake until the uh, back of your car reaches the edge of this, of your next uh, turn. So you can just keep doing that. Actually, you can just practice that. So you're drifting, you're drifting, you let go of gas, and your car strains out, hold your handbrake, start drifting, handbrake. Uh, and you can just keep practicing that, I guess. I guess that's a pretty, pretty decent way to practice that. So I'm entering my corner, not too fast. When I exit the corner, keep holding counter steer. And I hold my handbrake. Uh, and you just repeat all the steps again into the next in the next turn. Your handbrake until the edge of your car, or the back of your car, goes to the edge of the road. Uh, throttle control, counter steer control. I let go of gas. As soon as the car goes straight, hold my handbrake until the back of my car reaches the edge of the road. And you've got yourself a perfect uh, linked corner. Yeah, I'll make my control over it, overlay uh, a little bit bigger. Alright. <laughs> Big control overlay. I'll also, put this, I'll also put this clip in slow motion. You can see all the steps put into one. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions or if you're confused by any part of the video, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'll make sure to answer all the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you found this helpful. Join the Discord server. Uh, leave a like and comment. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace.